any thoughts of getting a trailer for your skid steer. Really think about how many times you're going to take that on and off your trailer. Alright, hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Tom. You're watching the Oxford Lawn Channel. I'm just out here going to share something with you. I was coming out here to do some work and move a skid steer off of a trailer and then do some maneuvers now that it's warmed up a little bit. I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of the house now. Um, I thought I'd share this with you. The reason that we got this particular trailer that we have, I'm going to show you right here. It's called a, a tilt bed trailer. Um, there's a pivot point right here uh, and there's a latch right here. This thing is amazing. It makes life very simple. Now, the reason that we got this type of trailer is because coming up down the road, we are going to start hooking up with some FEMA recovery work. And that, because we're down in Florida and there's a lot of hurricanes, a lot of tornadoes that come through here and there's a lot of damage and they need crews to get out there quick um, to open the roads up, get the trees out of the way, get them off of power lines, chainsaws, skid steers with grapples on them. That's the kind of stuff they want. So we finally made some contacts with that. We're getting ourselves geared up to do that in the near future. In the near future, say it, Tom. Um, so we started talking to a lot of people about it. They're already in the business and asking what we should do, what we should get. And that plays into one of the reasons why we ended up getting a new skid steer at the end of last year, just for our future plans. Yes, we do need it for all the composting work we do, loading it into the mulch mate trailer, spreading it over, over all of these houses. Um, but on top of that, we also wanted to get into some skid steer work. I want to get into some skid steer work. Therefore, talking to people, we were advised to look at the type of trailer. It's called a tilt bed, flat bed trailer, flat deck, flat bed, but the bed tilts and it tilts by its own weight when you unlatch it. And then from there on out, all you have to do is back it off. The good thing is, unlike a dump trailer, you're not taking metal ramps out of the back and hooking them on multiple times within an hour or a couple hours. Every time you stop to move a tree, you got to set up. What's good about this is it will automatically tilt as you back the skid steer up and put the pivot, put the weight towards the back. It automatically just goes whoop and the ramp touches the ground. You back off. And then when you're done, do your work, blah, blah, blah. Come back to the truck as fast as can because you goal is to move fast and get everything open so the power lines can get in there. The power company to fix the power lines. I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk fast. I try to keep the videos kind of short. So the benefit is right here. There's a latch right here. There's a pivot point right here. When you're ready to roll, you unlock the latch, back the skid steer up a little bit. This thing tilts, you back off and you're good to go. That's it. No setting ramps up, none of that. And when you're done, you don't have to take the ramps off, put them back underneath. So I'm gonna show you real fast because I came out here to get this skid steer off this trailer anyway. So I ran back in the house to get the GoPro to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna, how should we do this? I'm trying to think about how we should do this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the latch. Now I'm gonna take you into the skid steer and get the skid steer started. And then I'll back off and I'll put you back outside here while the skid steer is warming up because it's kind of cool. And then I'll back off and you can watch the action of the tilt deck trailer just tilting all by itself. But first, I just saw this. I got to get my wife's stuff off of my trailer. It is not a workbench. Oh, yeah. We have a huge garden in the back, actually. There she is, working in the garden. Putting stuff on my workbench. It's all right, it's all cool. I just gotta get it off of there. Hold on there. I'm gonna put you down while I do this. Seems my dog wants to help too. All right, that's done. Now, deck is clear. Let's walk around the side here to the latch. <clears throat> There's a, a latch right here, foot pedal here, and a locking pin right here. There it goes. Now when I'm done, 
and the thing is back on there and it's all tilted back, all I have to do is pick this up and it locks into place. This is not going to tilt, drive down the road. Crazy simple. But anyway, that's step number one. Step number two is me going inside, starting this thing up. So, let's take you inside. This one only has about 70 hours on it. Still smells brand new. I am not going to tell you the code, but I have to punch a code in, hit the button, no keys to lose. Love it. Hang on there, I'm punching in my code. Oh. Turn that off, I'm get, get in trouble for that. Start. All right, so let's go outside. This is gonna warm up for a minute. I don't wanna just run it on a cold start like that. I'm gonna put you on the ground. Hopefully the dog's not gonna get in the way of this shot. And I'm gonna pull out my phone to make sure I get you set up good. All right, so anybody else have a dog that loves to jump in their machinery with them? Watch this little dog. Come on, come on, coming, no? <clears throat> I think she's afraid of the trailer, but normally she'd be jumping into this skid steer right about now. Okay, so I'm locked in. Parking brake is off. I'm just gonna pick up the bucket a little bit. Well, the forks on this one. Tilt them up so I don't hit the deck on the way out. Now watch, just watch this thing tilt backwards. It's awesome. That's it, I'm out of here. I can go do my work now. Do what I have to do, go move the trees, get the stuff out of the way. It'll stay down, it doesn't pop up. And then, same situation. I'm just gonna pull forward here a little bit so you can see me in the screen. Now, if I want to load it back up, watch how simple this is. I'm done with my work, right? I did all this debris removal, tree removal, flattening of driveways, whatever the heck it is we're gonna get into. End of the day, you're tired, you don't want me dealing with ramps. I'm just gonna pull this thing right back up on the trailer. Make sure it's centered. Go slow. That's all I have to do. No setting up ramps. Up, 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 and all of a sudden you just feel the nose going down. And right about here somewhere it's gonna start going. There it is. Find your spot. I know where my spot is. Um, so yeah, man, tell me that's not the easiest thing in the world. All right, let me get this off of here. I'll be right there. All right, stick by that camera. Watch that dog going crazy. It, it's pissed, it's not in this skid steer with me. That dog loves to be in this thing for some reason. It'll sit in here for hours at a time on my lap, looking out the window. All right, so there we are, we're good. I'm not gonna rev this thing up too much. It's still too cold as far as I'm concerned. I'll turn it off to keep it quiet. So I just want to remind you all about one last thing. We showed this in another video last year at some point in time, and these are awesome. We've heard a lot of good feedback on these things, so I'm just gonna post it one more time real fast, is the mirrors, the magnetic mirrors that go on the arms of the skid steer. Like we have them on this one, and we'll move them over there too onto that skid steer if we need to use that one. That's a backup now. So, a quick little demo. Magnetic mount mirrors. <coughs> They do come off if you hit something. Um, it might not be good for your application. If you're working in a tight area, don't bother. But like us, we're just moving compost most of the time into trailers, backing up around equipment, trucks, other trailers, trails all over the place, stuff going on. I, need, I like to see what's going on behind me, and that's what is great about these mirrors. You can sit in the cab and see what's going on behind you. You can actually see right down the track line. So if you gotta get close to something, like really close, like too close, closer than you should be, you can do it, all right? That's all, 
quick reminder, I will leave a description for those down in the description. So yeah, that's all it is. I just wanted to show you that in case any of you out there looking to get a flatbed trailer to move your skid steer around with, there you are, get off the ground. What are you doing on the ground? So if you have any thoughts of getting a trailer for your skid steer, really think about how many times you're gonna take that on and off your trailer. Um, do you really want to set up those ramps <coughs> every time? If not, and it's in your scope of work, and this is all you need, I have room for a grapple. I can put the forks with the grapple or a bucket in the front, chain it down. Still have room for the skid steer. If I turn it backwards or forwards, there's tons of room. Yeah, so this is my choice. I am really happy with this. All right, so just wanted to share that with you all. Thank you for watching again. And please remember, down below, it's free, it's fast, it's easy. Click the like button. At least click the like button on this video. It helps me out tremendously. And if you want to watch what we're doing down the road, click that subscribe button. Take care.